calling South Bank Partners. Hope you're having a great day. Please leave your name and phone number, and we'll get back with you just as soon as we can. Wally is one of the best visionaries I've ever met, and in his vision, he is always looking at who will help put the pieces together. He has the vision, he knows it can be done, and he goes out and he gets the people that are needed to help accomplish the big picture. Yeah, I think Wally's vision has um, been great for this region because I think he looks at it as um, an entire region. He doesn't look at the great Ohio Ocean and think it's a barrier. He thinks of it as a way to bring um, both communities together as well as all of the river cities in northern Kentucky. Um, Wally got the show on the road. He uh, uh, was a major help to many smaller developers like we are. Uh, and gave us the professionalism that uh, uh, we might not have had on our own. He's definitely left a legacy for all of us, and I, I think his passion and desire to get things done is immense. Hey Wally, it's your old buddy Denny Dye, the guy that you were the best man in the wedding, and you've been the best man ever since then. But Wally sets the tone of, we'll, ex we'll listen to any idea, and the more dynamic, the more off the wall, usually the better. You know, not even ten years from now, I, even five years from now, people will look at the South Bank Shuttle, they'll look at the bridge, they'll look at the Peace Bell, they'll look at all the development on the river, they'll look at Hofbrau House being there, they'll look at all the tax credits that, that happened because he was a good lobbyist, and they'll look at all that and they'll go, wow. We wish other places in the country could do what South Bank has done in such a, sh a short amount of time. It's really extraordinary and it's because Wally has great vision in this can-do attitude. Why not? Let's try it. Let's do it. And we did. He can picture things that are going to take place in the future, put together a plan to make it happen, and then sits back and lets everybody else do all the work. And he's just one of those people that just makes you feel good when you're around him. And um, just really uh, is, it's hard to put your finger on it because you kind of wish everybody else was like that and what a great place the world would be with a lot more Wallies running around. He's just a great guy to be around. He's got a great attitude. And uh, all of the adversity uh, he still wants to have fun, he still wants to enjoy, and I think that's great. I feel like what gets Wally excited is um, having all of the volunteers and all of the people from all of the different organizations come together for one purpose, and the fact that nobody's doing it just for themselves. Um, Wally is probably the least selfish person I've ever met in my life. Um, he, he's gone through so many things in his life, particularly in the last five years, and he never thinks about himself. He always thinks about the organization and the good things that we're doing. Um, and I think he likes it when all of the people from all of the cities and all of the different organizations are doing the same thing. They're not in it for themselves, they're in it for the greater good. All I can say is without Wally, uh, South Bank uh, would, uh, may have still been here, but it, 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 he's the one that took it, got it from the ground floor, brought it to the level that it's at today, and, and, and you can't really look at uh, South Bank without seeing Wally Pagan's name in it. Wally, thank you so much for your visionary leadership. If it wasn't for you for South Bank Shuttle, a lot of our employees and guests and visitors to Newport Aquarium 
uh, wouldn't be coming here on a daily basis. So on behalf of everybody that comes to Newport for fun, thank you. Let's sing a song for all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, here's your song. Can we all stand? Yes. <laughs> drink beer, drink beer. Oh, come drink beer with me. I don't give a damn for any old man who won't drink beer with me. Break out the old golden goblet with the Omicron upon it. And we'll all have another glass of beer. Glass of beer. For it's not for knowledge that we went to college, but to raise hell while we're there. Congratulations, Lloyd. Yeah. Okay, what's the underwear drawer? <laughs> I was down to maybe having one glass of wine with dinner and another glass of wine before I went to bed. Now, uh, the, since beer's free and I have to pay for wine, I drink beer and I've unfortunately upped my usage from two glasses to wine to, to eight beers. And as a matter of fact, it's 12 o'clock. I'm ready for a beer. Fraulein, bring me a beer. Thank you, Wally. <laughs>